So one thing we're talking about starting on the kettlebell swing from the ground is the hike, right? So it's very important to first of all maintain neutral spine, but also be able to understand how much your lats are going to contribute to moving your arms into this high thigh area as you hike the kettlebell and position it in the hips, right? So sometimes when you're starting out, even just as a warm-up, right, how do you get your lats activated? Well, in terms of activation, what you want to have is like transference. So your warm-up should closely parallel what you're going to be doing in the training session, right? So this is what the hike looks like. See here, lats are long here, bracing. So as you can see, the kettlebell comes back here, but I have to pull it back with enough force that I'm going to position it high enough. Because if I don't position it high enough, I'm going to start off in a bad position, arch the back, and give me game over. So we're going to show you something quick here with a resistance band, right? Have the resistance band choked off. Now make sure you see here, round it. Don't put your resistance band on sharp edges because then it breaks. And then that's not good for anybody either. So the line of pull. You want to get your line of pull the same as if it was the kettlebell, right? So move the band down a little bit lower, right there. Walk back so there's tension on the band. Now, screw the arms in, shoulder blades back. Here, let the band come forward. Here, and the band fucking breaks.